What's up, girl boss? We've got new Chelsea Grin. This is the Isness. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Very excited for thisness. As they say, the Isness, Shisness, Business. Fist me if you agree. Excited to get into this? I say let's do it. Last song was, ooh, fantastic. Really nice blend of like some phonic elements with deathcore. It was just really, really cool. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Very excited for this. Social media links down in the description down below, along with like merch and a bunch of other stuff. Music, it's all down there. Let's get in this business. Yeah. That's a fun one. Not the Fiverr visualizer. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty blackened. With the classic Chelsea Grun groove. Okay, the merch plug. I guess I'm advertising for them too. <laughs> Weird shot. He's the business. I wanted him to rhyme it with business. Really fantastic lead. Oh shit! Did not expect cleans. I don't think it was Tom's clean though. Is there a feature on this? What's kind of fucked is they're gonna claim the video too, so I'm sending the money. Ooh. This sounds a little bit like older Chelsea Grin. Nice harmonic. Left, no, that's my right ear. Oh, that's good. That's good ambience. I don't even know what that's called. Everything. Wow. All right, shit. Chelsea Grin. I that's there are some vocal layers on that that made me think there was a feature, but I guess not. Hmm. Yeah, me. I, yeah, I don't know who that was. I don't know who that was. Maybe it was Tom, but there's also some vocal layering that I, I don't know. Maybe a guitarist or someone's doing a you know backing vocals, and it's not an official feature. But I will say, you know, really fantastic song. Not as um, aggressively symphonic deathcore as The Origin of Sin. But I think that's good. I, I think that indicates like some level of diversity. Like, right, all songs aren't going to sound the same. Chelsea Grin is uh, pretty good about that. Or, you know, it sounds like them, but it doesn't all sound the same. Which can get very boring. I'm looking at you, Acranius. What the fuck was that album? Anyways, yeah, really excited for the split album. Because I think it's uh, 8 and 8. Yeah, 8 for Suffer in Heaven and 8 for Suffer in Hell. We got some Dark Souls references on there. We got some features, some really cool features. I think Kyle Anderson's on one, like Rosaria's Fingers or something. Of course, they'd put Kyle on the, the, the Souls-inspired uh, track. We're really, really excited for this album. I think it's going to be super, super nice. Seems like there's going to be a bit of like uh, nice symphonic elements. 
do this one it was uh, a little more uh, bereaved of it right that's not the right word why did i use that word because the queen is dead because she's fucking dead that's why i used it l britain jamaica irish dub fuck you that's not about the song <laughs> but yeah really excited for this are they on tour they're gonna go on tour pretty soon maybe i don't know i don't know something's gonna happen they're gonna be somewhere i'd like to see them live i think chelsea grin live would be absolutely sick uh, but yeah, between Origin of Sin and the Isness, I'm not, mm, The Origin of Sin felt like it had a lot of diversity, especially with the symphonic element, so I do like that a lot, but I don't think, like, I'm just gonna only listen to Origin of Sin, right? I gotta listen to both. Diversify my passive income stock, my portfolio. That's what I'm doing. That's the word. Business. The Isness. I'm losing my fucking mind. Get out of here.